What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeremy Park and today we're getting an MRI on my knee. Busted it up skiing, so let's get to it. I'm a little late right now, so I got a rush. I'm supposed to be here like 10 minutes ago to fill out some paperwork, but um, we're here at Fort Lauderdale Orthopedic Sports and Medicine visiting Dr. Nijin. Shout out to Gabe Snow for connecting me to Luke Greenberg who connected me with this amazing specialist. So we're getting a different perspective. We made it to the doctor's office, signed all the paperwork. We're getting checked out, about to meet Dr. Nijin for the first time. Um, get the knee checked out. I can bear some weight on it and it's day three now, which is a very, very good sign, but we will never know until we get that full MRI. So that's why I'm here. Um, health is wealth. I'm trying to be, especially with what I do, fitness related and everything, I got to prioritize my health and uh, definitely doing that right now so stay tuned and uh wish me the best if you like this video make sure to like comment subscribe doing weekly videos weekly uploads this will be the first episode of the comeback and recovery vlogs so doctor's visit is officially complete we got the cd that holds all the information i'm not going to know anything until tomorrow when they send it over to the doctor but i'm also going to go take this disc over to a stem cell doctor. He specializes in stem cells. He reached out to me. We'll see what route we take here, but we won't know until this is fully read. Fingers crossed. I hope I can just walk away from this. I'm starting to apply more pressure onto the knee. We'll see what happens. It is what it is, boys. The recovery will be strong. Still able to work out, do some body weight stuff. Um, I'm keeping the fuel and my consumption of macros, everything the same, maybe even more, just to give my knee a little bit of more healing power. I'll keep you updated. The date is February 4th, 1222 in the afternoon. Um, I'm just gonna kind of run you through a little update. So it's been now five days since the injury. Yesterday, I was bearing weight. I was walking a little bit, very, very slowly, and I'm still waiting on the MRI results. The doc doesn't want to give me the results, I think, over the phone, so I might have to go back in, which I really don't want to do. I don't want to waste any time. I just want to, what has happened, that way I can do some prehab, rehab, whatever I need. I got no time to waste, honestly. Quick little updates, too. I've been going to the gym. I've hit a uh, arms and shoulder session um, two days ago. That's up on my IG, so make sure to go follow that, J Park underscore fit and then I also did a back day yesterday feeling really good inside the gym my leg actually feels way better after a gym session just because my blood is flowing um, everything's moving and things like that and keeping the mobility alive pain not really any pain I'm just trying to get that flexion going I'll put in the walking clip right here of me walking out of the gym um, putting the crutches down but uh, I'm definitely still using the crutches um, the way my days are going, I pretty much sleep until I feel like I need it. I have a good breakfast, and then right now I'm gonna go get some sun by the pool because it looks beautiful out. Jeremy, right? Yep. Love okay. So I'm on the phone with Fort Lauderdale Orthopedics. I missed the call like 20 minutes ago. I was making my bed, I was doing laundry and stuff. And uh, Dr. Negan, the guy who's helping me out right now, wants to review my MRI. I missed it, so I'm on the phone with him, but she said that he left. So I'm trying to get his personal number or something just to get a, an idea, because if not, I have to wait until Monday, which is bullshit, because I just did a self-pay on this MRI, and I don't want to wait anymore. I want to be able to start doing shit, and uh, yeah. I have to call on Monday. I have to wait two full days like it's nothing serious. They told me to tell you to call early morning on Monday. And I came in on Wednesday. I mean, if you could let him know, if he could just maybe even call me, like I could give you my cell and then hopefully he'll take some time out of his weekend just to give me a quick update. And then on Monday I could get like the full synopsis, but I would really, really appreciate if I could get kind of a clear idea on what I'm doing so I can start prehabbing and doing things like that okay yeah that would be greatly appreciated just because i'm yeah, a little bit on edge right now because <laughs> i don't know the like a clear idea on my my knee and it happened on sunday but if it would have been something that would have told you to come in. but i'm sending a message and 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 
putting your phone number. Alrighty. All right. Thank you so much. You have a great You're weekend. You're welcome. Oh, you too. All right. You. Bye. Have All a good right. one. Bye. All right. So, fingers crossed, they just sent a message over to Dr. Negan, and hopefully he gets back to me. Hopefully he takes the time out of his weekend just to give me the news, give me the rundown, just tell me how it is, tell me how it is straight, because I need to do some PT on this thing ASAP, and without a clear-cut idea, I, I don't know. So, um, I mean, judging by the way they're handling it, it, it doesn't seem like it's that urgent because I feel like if a doctor saw like something crazy he would have wanted me to like come in or, and do something but if they're saying wait until Monday which is two days away who knows maybe it's a good sign and it's Saturday afternoon it's about four o'clock we're about to hit Johnny O's I'm gonna sneak in a little chest workout yeah recovery has been pretty good I just hit the beach I can walk I can bear weight I'll show you guys, you'll, you'll see me hobbling around Johnny O's, but the question is, can I make it out tonight? Cause I wanna, I wanna go out, have a couple tequilas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're getting ready right now, situated for Johnny O's. Should be sick, chest workout coming soon, coming right now, let's get it. <laughs> We just poured some black seltzer. Eric, let's go. Big chest ahead of us. Oh, cheers. Cheers, boys. Best served ice cold. Code J Park. Only ones in the gym, baby. Let's go. Shout out Johnny O's. We begin gyms all to ourselves. Yeah, this is crazy. So Every we're, time we're working out, we got the gym to ourselves. Yes, sir. I'm starting off with some flies. Get the chest all riled up. So all my workouts have to be super isolated. So any chest press, I can't have any leg drive. So all the movements today are going to be legs up or seated or a cable press where it's only using the chest. So if anyone out there is having trouble with stability in their legs, this workout is for you. <laughs> all right, next exercise, we're going on to a Smith Machine incline press. We got a plate loaded up, trying to use as little knee drive as possible. And this, I did like a set or two already. It feels really good. Ring finger on the ring. Retract. Press. A nice set to get the chest all activated. Maybe add a couple more weights on there. Feeling good. Loaded on, 185. Feels good. Everything upper body is pretty much straight. I'm walking around, I ditched the crutches today, so it's a good day. <laughs> 10 reppies. Next movement is a flat bench, but we're making things interesting. We're doing a leg raise on each press to minimize that leg drive, build up that core. Most importantly, build that chest. What are you hitting right now? 65s for a Last time we were here, I PR'd the 65s and they're tough as hell. Now I'm going to my full set, weight is moving today. How many reps are you hitting? Hitting like six reps per set. All right. Let's go, DJ. Come on. Yup. Yup. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Oh, gotta hit that other arm. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Next up, we got this Johnny O's special right here. Chest standing chest press. I've never seen one of these before. Going neutral grip. Next up, we got a incline cable fly. The setup is a little tricky here. Lock it in, sit back, retract that shoulder. Try 
tree hugging. This is our final chest exercise. Building core strength is one of the most important and prioritized things right now. Just with everything, balancing on one leg, you need that core strength. Thankfully, I do core pretty much every day before the injury, so I'll be chilling. But yeah, a couple sets of that and we're out of here. All right, see you later, bro. Uh, Have a good one. Thank you for uh, keeping it open for us. Saturday night, chest pump at Johnny O's. Thank you, Johnny O's. If you're in the Boca area, check him out. This wraps up the first episode of my recovery. Feeling good, I'm walking around. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. The next episode, we're gonna find out what's really wrong with my knee. But at this point, dude, there's nothing wrong with my knee. Peace. <laughs>